Well, hello and welcome to today's teaching, which is being presented to you by For Those Who Choose Incorporated. My name is Anisha Tillman, and I am on the teaching team for For Those Who Choose. And teaching with me today is my mother, Annette Cook, hello. who is one of the co-founders and instructors of For Those Who Choose, and my father, Aaron Leroy Cook, <laughs> who is also co-founder and lead instructor instructor for those who choose. Amen. Today we're going to continue our series called The Concepts and Characteristics of the Kingdom. Yes. Amen. 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 We've been Amen. talking about this for a while. Yeah. We still have oh, and we're a lot finished. to go. Yeah. We're yeah. not yeah. finished. Yeah. Nowhere near finished yet. So yeah. stay tuned. Mm -hmm. concepts. They're concepts. Ideas of the kingdom. Yes. Of yeah. our Father in Heaven. Mm -hmm. That we need to know. We need to know His concepts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And His will. So over the last month, we've been discussing several principles that make up the characteristics of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. We've discussed the principle of kings, mm -hmm. the principles of lords and lordship, right. and we began talking and learning about the principle of domain. Mm -hmm. Today, we're going to continue our study on the kingdom principle of domain. So why is it important that we study the principles of domain? Mm -hmm. Anybody got an answer? We do. For many reasons. For many reasons. <laughs> Well, from the very beginning, God says that he has given mankind, which is you and I, mm -hmm. dominion over all the earth. That was the first thing he did. The very first thing. The very first thing. Mm -hmm. Also, in Psalms 37, it tells us that the meek or the humble or humble shall inherit the earth. Yeah, We're yeah, going to talk right. about what that means as well. Amen. And shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Wow. And then in Matthew, the fifth chapter, Jesus says, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. The earth. Mm -hmm. wow. And earth is land. And yeah. another word for land is territory or mm -hmm. domain. domain. Mm -hmm. We've talking about this for the yeah. last couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. exactly. So why did, God give, why did God give mankind dominion or rulership over the earth? What's the importance or significance of land? Why is it necessary for mankind to have dominion or domain over which to rule? Amen. Well, we're going to continue looking into this concept of domain today so that we can begin to answer some of these questions. Amen. 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 Once again, it is our desire that when we finish each of the sessions on the principles of domain, that you have a greater understanding Amen. of why God gave you and I dominion over all the earth. Mm -hmm. Because remember, you cannot apply what you do yeah. not know understand. or understand. understand. Amen. 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 So now, as we've said before, all true kingdoms contain the same characteristics and components. Mm -hmm. And in this series, we are reviewing concepts and principles of kingdoms that you should know and become familiar with. You must study and apply them to the message of the kingdom of God in heaven taught by the king himself, Jesus Christ, Amen. in order to fully understand his concepts, which are his ideas and his Amen. precepts or principles of the kingdom of God. Amen. Understanding the mind of God about the kingdom will also help you to understand your purpose. That's important. Yes. Understanding That's important. the mind of God. Yes. Understanding the mind of God. That's right. Right will help you understand your purpose. Your purpose. And, and, exactly. and remember, we, we always say, you know, when you don't understand the purpose of a thing, it'll be used as an So exactly. purpose is foundational to everything in life. Yes. Amen. So once again, understanding the mind of God about the kingdom will also help you to understand your purpose, mm -hmm. your potential. That's what you have in you. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, because whatever God creates, you know, mm -hmm. he injects it with its purpose. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And he injects it with the ability to fulfill its purpose. Mm -hmm. And that's your potential. Amen. Yes. The power that you have available to you to dominate in life. And you'll also understand your position in life. Amen. 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 So as we said before, our primary objective for this series continues to be that you begin learning the original concepts and characteristics of kingdoms in general. Mm -hmm. So that when you study the Bible, your understanding can be complete. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now, as a reminder, the content of this series is taken from our, the book by the late, great Dr. Miles Monroe <laughs> called Kingdom Principles. Amen. 
And once again, we always will encourage you to read the book as well, because this book goes into the detailed research mm -hmm. done by Dr. Miles, which consists of 26 different kingdom 26. components. That's a lot. That's and, a lot. Yeah, and we're not going to cover it. Even though we're not covering mm -hmm. all 26 of them, it's still going to take us to the end of the year to get through the ones that right. we are covering. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Amen. So in this series, the goal is to provide a good foundation to increase your knowledge and understanding of the kingdom of God. And again, we want to remind you that the kingdom is God's greatest desire and passion for you and I. And it's important that we study the kingdom. Amen. Amen. We are God's children and his desire is that we should rule this earth. Amen. Amen. And we should reign in life. Mm -hmm. With the influence of heaven, heaven. Amen. you know, yes. the influence. You know, I heard. You know, I was listening this morning to another teaching, mm -hmm. and you know, when we talk about heaven, mm -hmm. when we call on heaven, when we say, you know, the influence of heaven, that's all of heaven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all of heaven backs you up. Amen. Amen. All of heaven, you know. The Godhead Himself, mm -hmm. you know, the angels, that's the proud. twenty-four that's elders, that's 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 everything that's in heaven. When you say, you know, you know, your kingdom come, your will be done mm -hmm. in earth, just like it is in heaven. Mm -hmm. When you give heaven permission, that's all, all of heaven. heaven. Oh. Amen. Oh, that's that's powerful. That's that's powerful. powerful. Yes, sir. That's powerful. Yeah. yeah. Think about it. That one angel. Right. Killed 185,000 men. That's right. So if you if one angel killed 185,000 men, let me do the math. <laughs> that's a lot. That's, that's, right. that's, right. that's, that's more than power. That is right. more than power. Amen. That's right. That's right. So you always want heaven's government impacting your life. Yeah. Because whenever heaven's government impacts your life, it's all of heaven. All of heaven. The Godhead. Amen. All of the angels. Mm. You know, mm, all they, about. Amen. Whoa. So God wants his environment. He wants amen. the environment of his influence which is his government mm -hmm. and the economy of heaven to come back to earth as he originally intended mm -hmm. and purposed and planned from the very beginning. Amen. Amen. God wants his heavenly kingdom or his heavenly government to be manifested in the earth through you and I. God's desire is that his kingdom government be manifested in the hearts mm -hmm. and the minds mm -hmm. of we, his children. Amen. Yes. Amen. To the yes. point that we take on his culture, and remember, culture is not in land, but culture is in the people. Oh, so yes. we, he wants us to take on his culture, his nature, his morals, mm -hmm. his values, yes. so that the culture of heaven is manifested throughout the earth. Amen. Amen. And as I just said, culture is not in land, but culture instead is in the people of the land. So when you possess the culture of the king of heaven, you will indeed be able to manifest heaven's culture mm. in the earth. Amen. 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 Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth, earth just like it is in heaven. heaven. Amen. 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 Now, for those of you who are joining us live today, we ask that you join the conversation. Yes. All throughout this live session, we ask that you share your thoughts and questions with us. Mm -hmm. And at the end of each session, we always have an open forum. During that time, we will respond to any questions that you may have online. Mm -hmm. Our desire, it is our desire, is that you walk away from these teachings with the knowledge and the understanding yeah. that will allow you to apply what you are learning to your everyday life. Yeah. That's Amen. why you're here, so that you That's can so apply vital. it to your everyday, everyday life. life. Amen. Remember in the parable of the soul, which is in the book of Matthew, chapter 13, and we said it's every week. Yes. Yes. Over this. Yes. Jesus explains that the seed is the word of God. Yes. God's word is his seed. And wherever God puts his word, he has an investment there. Yes. Right. And if yes. anybody starts fooling with anything that has God's word in it, including the devil, God will take on the fight. Amen. Because he said, heaven and earth shall pass away, pass away but my word shall stand and remain forever. Amen. 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 He tells how Satan comes immediately to steal the word of the kingdom. Yes. When you don't understand it. Don't and understand. he won't come when you're talking about religion come and all on, that other man. stuff. But when you talk and start teaching about the gospel of the kingdom, yes. he's going to come comes. immediately. Amen. Himself. Himself. Come right. On, he don't send his imps, his lieutenants, his sergeant. He comes himself. himself. That goes to show you how important yes. the yes. word and the gospel of the kingdom is. Yes. Amen. yes. Therefore, please don't leave this session today with having without having a thorough understanding of everything that we discussed. Please, 
So please join the conversation. Type your questions or comments in the comments section, and we have a team of people who will be able to share them with us. Also, if you don't mind, hit the like and share button while you're here. Share this message with others who may want to learn more about the kingdom. It is for those who choose. Amen. 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 So now before we go ahead and move into our lesson for today, let's officially open up our session in prayer. I'm going to Amen. ask Sister Annette, Sister Annette <laughs> my Cook. mother, go ahead. <laughs> That's, your mother. That's your my mother. mother right? <laughs> You pray with us as well. Amen. Yes. Let's all agree as in touching. Amen. Amen. Father, it is in the name of Jesus Christ. It is in the name that you have given us the authority to dominate in life Amen. that we come before you, God, once again. Yes. And that once again is in the name of Jesus. Yes. We come to you in that name, Father, yes. always giving you thanks, yes. Father, giving you praise, yes. Lord, giving you honor and glory, Father God, magnifying your holy name, yes. Father, lifting you, God, daily in our hearts and in our lives, mm -hmm. Father, thanking you always that you are the King of kings, yes. you are the Lord of lords, you yes. are most high, you are the one true and only living. God. Yes. There is no other God beside you. You are great. You yes. are awesome. Yes. You are mighty. You are magnificent. Yes. You are greatly to be praised, Father. Yes. And we love you and we honor you, Father. Yes. And we worship you in spirit and in truth. Yes. We come in the authority once again that you have given us to dominate in life. And that is in the name of Jesus. Now, Father, with the authority that you have given us through Jesus Christ and by the power of your Holy Spirit, we give you the permission this day to intervene, to influence, and to impact the affairs of every life. Yes. listening to this teaching on this day. Holy Spirit, we give you permission with the authority given to us by the Father to intervene, to influence, and to impact every area and every aspect of each and every one of our lives. Yes. We invite you into this teaching. Amen. We thank you that this day you have granted us clear articulation yes. Yes. and continuity of thought. Yes. That the people that are listening to this teaching today will hear the word of the kingdom Amen. and be able to receive it and will be able to grow thereby hearing it, meaning yes. that they're able to apply what they're learning. We thank you for moving from heart to heart. We thank you for moving from breast to breast. Yes. We thank you for uprooting everything that is against the expressed and known will of God. Yes. We declare and decree by the manifestation of heaven's government in this earth that every situation and every circumstance that is not in alignment with the will of the king yes. has been made change. Yes. We thank you for healing where healing is required. Yes. We thank you for the manifestation of the government of the kingdom and the lives of your people yes. where healing is required. Yes. We thank you, Lord God, for mental, spiritual, yes. emotional, yes. physical, and financial healing yes. in the hearts yes. and the minds of every person, yes. God, yes. where yes. healing is required. We yes. thank you that your shalom peace Yes. is manifested in the hearts yes. and the minds of your people, dear God. Yes. Nothing missing, nothing yes. lacking, yes. and nothing yes. broken yes. in any life, dear God. Yes. We thank you for the evidence of your presence on this day, Lord God. We yield our will unto you that your good and acceptable and perfect will be done mm -hmm. through this yes. teaching. Yes. Yes. We yes. pray for the teacher of this hour, God. Yes. Yes. We lift her before you in yes. the yes. name of yes. Jesus yes. Christ. Yes. We plead yes. the blood of Jesus yes. over yes. her life. Yes. Yes. We yes. bind the devil. Yes. We bind yes. demonic spirits. Yes. We bind yes. wickedness and rulers of dark places. Yes. We bind every high thing that would yes. attempt to exalt itself yes. above the knowledge of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Yes. We lose the power, the presence, and the anointing yes. of your yes. spirit yes. to destroy burdens. Yes. and to break yokes yes. of bondage. Yes. Yes. Father, we thank you, Father, thank you, for the ability to come before your throne of grace. You said yes. we come boldly before the throne of grace, yes. and there we obtain mercy. Yes. So we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your all-sufficiency applied to every life. Yes. Now we yield this 
teaching over to you. Yes. Yes. Have your way in it. Have yes. your way yes. through it. Yes. Cause yes. your will to be done on this day. Yes. Yes. We will always be extra careful to give you the praise, yes. the honor, yes. and, and the glory. glory. Because we know that it is not by our might. Yes. It is not, not by, by our power. power. But it is by your spirit Good. that yes. all things are made possible. Yes. Yes. So as we have asked these things, Father, in accordance with your will and your word, we believe already we have received what we have asked you for. Yes. We know that you have heard us. Yes. So yes. we thank you, Father. Thank thank you. We Lord. praise you and we honor you. Yes. Yes. And we ask you all things in that authority. Yes. And that is in the name in of the Jesus. Name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Name of it is in that name and that name only that we pray. Yes. Amen. 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 Thank you, Now, wow. let's review some of the Amen. key concepts and principles that we covered on last week. Mm -hmm. Last week, we began by looking at several scriptures to identify the territory of God. Yes. Amen. Amen. We found in Genesis chapter 1, mm -hmm. verses 1 through 24, God creating the heavens, the earth, and everything in the earth. Mm -hmm. Then we talked about 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 8 where it says that the foundation of the earth are the Lord's. Yes. Right. On them, he has set the world. Amen. The world. It's almost like he set the world on his word, what yes. he said. Yes. Amen. He all, we also looked at 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 27, where King Solomon says, will God really dwell on earth? Mm. Mm. The highest heavens cannot contain you. Mm -mm. How much less this temple I built? Mm. He's too big. He's too it's big. Too big. For yeah. yeah, he's too big for this earth. He's too big. Amen. He said, in other words, they said, he's so high, you can't get over him. He's so low, you can't get under him. <laughs> <laughs> you got to come to every door. Amen. 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 That's all, you know what? That scripture, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Mm -hmm. He says, and no man can come, can come to the Father but by me. Yeah. He said, if you come any other way, except through the gate, he said, you a thief and a robber. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So we said, in other words, this scripture is telling us that God made the earth, but he did not make it for himself. That's right. That's right. He can dwell here. He can't. He can't yeah. dwell here because yeah. he's too big. We just said that. Yeah, he right. can't dwell here because he's too big. That's right. We even looked at what the prophet Isaiah had said about this in Isaiah chapter 45, verse 18. Mm -hmm. Isaiah said, the Lord who created the heavens, he is God. That's right. Yes. He, he who fashioned and made the earth, he founded it. Mm -hmm. He did not create it to be empty, but formed it to be inhabited. That's mm. right. He says, I am the Lord, and there is none, none other. other. He says, I'm the Lord. I'm the only. We know that word Lord means only. Right. means only. He said, there's none other. That's there's right. none other. In other words, he said, I created everything. That's I right. created the heavens and the earth. That's That's right. Right. Nobody else can create. All you got to do is go outside and look up in the sky. Who could who could create a flag in right. the sky? Right. Right. And they, they stay there. Right. 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 All this time, from the first time he spoke it, it let, 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 let is still going. That's, That's right. right. And it can't move. That's right. Because the it's Bible says this word can't return to him void. That's right. Amen. Amen. So God is saying that he made the earth to be inhabited by his children. That's you and I. Mm -hmm. Amen. He did not make the earth for himself because there is no place in the earth that can hold him. Amen. No God. place. Last week we said that God owns the heavens, which are endless. Mm -hmm. yes. Endless. Wow. wow. However, he made the earth for man so that mankind, his children, could be kings as well. Yes. Wow. As we've said before, you cannot be a king without territory. Come That's on, right. Come on. You can't. can't be a king without territory. We talked about that a, a couple weeks ago, about the three guys that was acting like kings, walking around with crowns on their head. The three students. <laughs> 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 but they didn't have any territory. <laughs> Amen. So you cannot be a ruler without domain. Therefore, a kingdom requires domain or territory or land. That's right. God says that he made the earth to be inhabited by you and I because he wants us to be rulers just like our dad, and just yeah, like our father. Like Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We looked at another scripture in Psalms 115, verses 15 through 17, where it says, May you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven 
and earth. Mm -hmm. The highest heavens belong yes. to the Lord. But the earth he has given unto who? Man. Man. That's us. That's you too. Mm -hmm. yes. He the heavens and, and we were the earth. earth. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's what he always intended. That's what he intended. And so he yeah. put us to be not owners of this earth, but to be stewards of the earth. That's, That's right. right. You know, to be managers That's of this right. earth. That's right. That's right. Because we're his kids. That's right. And you know what? Most fathers want their kids to act like them, especially when they have sons. Mm -hmm. And that, that word sons has nothing to do with your gender, mm -hmm. whether you're male or female. Mm -hmm. Because all of us are sons. That's right. That word sons means offspring. Oh, yeah. That's right. You know, so you can be a son. That's right. I can be a son. You can be a son. I am a son. Can be a son. All right. Amen. <laughs> we're sons. Amen. Amen. So, so, so. We see here in the scriptures that he gave the earth to his kids. That's yeah. us. Mm -hmm. That's As we've said many times before, God rules the heavens, which is his domain to mm -hmm. rule, and we, his children, rule the earth. Amen? That's right. Amen. We said that earth is your domain to rule. That's right. We said this is why he is called the king yeah. of kings. Yeah. Right. Yes. But the difference is that he rules by right of creation. That's right. right. That means he created everything. That's, That's right. right. Mm -hmm. Your rule is by privilege of delegation. Mm -hmm. wow. His is creation, yours is delegation. That's right. Creation, delegation. 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 Amen. Mm -hmm. This is why you must re keep reporting back to who? To God your to Father. God our Father. To better understand our privilege of delegation, we looked at the parable Jesus tells about a man who gives his servants land, and he goes away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He comes back to see how they did to get an account of how they managed the land. Mm -hmm. We said, in other words, God is king who gave you territory to rule just like the man in the parable. He is coming back. Mm -hmm. He's coming back to check how you did to make sure that you give an accounting of how you managed it. Wow. Wow. Oh. wow. Come on. Last week we Ooh. said that mankind did not do so well right. with this assignment. Mm. No, it's still not. It's still, still not, not doing. Yeah. And we talked about right now in 2019, if you're looking at this, this is not an old tape. This is now. Right. <laughs> 19, amen? Right. Today. Come on. Wow. We said that mankind sold the management contract of Earth to an unemployed cherub named Lucifer mm -hmm. or Satan. Yes. Satan stole the authority over Earth. And Jesus Christ came back to bring it back to us. Right. Amen. That's why he That's came, why he came back, back. To, to restore us back to our original, original. position that yes. we have of God the Father and as God. God. Amen. 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 Wow. This is why his first announcement was repent. Mm -hmm. Change the way that you've been conditioned to think That's right. by this world system. Repent. Right. Menlaka or kingdom has arrived. Amen. We said Jesus brought back to you and I, mankind, the rulership rights of earth again. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Then we looked at Matthew, the eighth chapter, where Jesus says, I tell you the truth. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Mm -hmm. And whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. That's right. He said, you have the authority first. If you bind it here, then I'll bind it there. Mm -hmm. yes. He said, if you loose it here, then I'll lose it there. But you, he says, you, you take the first step, Sister Cook. That's right. You yeah. got it. That's right. He says, you bind it here, I'll bind it there. You loose it here, I'll right. loose it there. Right. We Amen. said that the word bind means to lock up or not permit something. Mm -hmm. Right. To loose means to unlock or permit something. Mm -hmm. Right. So Jesus is telling us that whatever you do not permit on this earth, heaven will not permit it. Amen. That's right. Whatever you permit on this earth, Heaven cannot stop it. That's, mm, that's, 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 that's key. Ooh. Come on, that's man. critical. It's, it's vital. It's vital. Yeah. And it's vital that you know this. That's right. right. So this means whatever you allow in society, heaven cannot stop it. That's right. Whatever you disallow in your society, heaven will not allow it to happen. Mm -hmm. We say God is saying that the management of earth is totally up to you. you. That's right. All of us. All, All of us. Right. Amen. We're including ourselves in that. Right? That's right. Mm -hmm. Last week we said when the executive officials and the governing leaders of this nation allow things that are against God's will to occur from the top, mm. from the top, mm -hmm. we are unlocking things that God cannot stop. That's right. Wow. God is saying he cannot stop it. Mm -hmm. Whatever you loose on your society, 
heaven has to let loose. I'm going to say that again. Yeah. Say it again. Whatever yeah. you let loose on your society, heaven cannot stop it. That's a simple, it's a simple That's, thing. You yeah. Know, people always say, why would God allow these things to happen? Right. Mm -hmm. That's what a lot of people always say. But they the reality say. is it's not God allowing it. God is, you know, we're, the, we're responsible for what's happening in the earth. Right. right. Mankind is responsible for what's happening here, not God. Not God. Right. Because God removed himself from the equation right. when he said, let them have dominion over the but, earth. But, but when you don't know a thing, it's Just hard for you to understand. understand right. Right. I, I heard Miles talking about how he had, it was a bishop when he was going to school, mm -hmm. you know, theological school. Mm -hmm. And he said, um, this guy was teaching for almost 40 years. Yeah. And he never taught about the kingdom. kingdom. He said he asked him one time about the kingdom and the guy couldn't give him the answer. Wow. He said, so how in the world can you be teaching somebody about the gospel of the kingdom when you don't understand the kingdom yourself. Exactly. Mm. But that's for, you know, ignorance, you know, it's perpetuating. It's been perpetuated over the years and years and years. And, and it's amazing because that's the main thing that Jesus Christ said in his word that now we must teach. Yep. Yes. The kingdom. The that's, kingdom. The, that's what he taught, and that was his commission for his disciples to teach. Right. And he said, you know, he said, go make other disciples, right. you know, teaching them about the kingdom of right. God. Yeah. Yet most churches are not, they don't, one, they don't understand it. Yes. Right. You know, and a lot of people, you know, I know people may question why we, we glean from Dr. Miles' teaching. Mm -hmm. We have not found another teacher that has done the in-depth research mm -hmm. that no. he's done on the kingdom. You see no. people hitting around it. They, right. they, they don't really right. go they into don't. it. And it's a lot of times I'll be listening because we've learned a lot about it. And I'll be listening for different ones to you know, when they start talking about the kingdom, they go into it further, but, they, but they then know. they just stop. They, they, you they, know? They, they touch the surface, and, and even what they're touching from a surface standpoint is nowhere near touching what it really means. No. Right. So that's why we use the teachings of Dr. Miles. I mean, and, and everything that we are teaching is scripturally supported. For right. Yes, it's right. scripturally supported. So. And if we're going to follow somebody yeah. who was a teacher, yeah. Then we should be following the Yeshua best. Jesus. That's yes. Right. And Yeshua Jesus taught about the kingdom. That's yes. Not yes. religion that's or religiosity. Yes. And now we can see that that's what he taught. Yes. The right. kingdom of God is like this. The kingdom of God is like a purpose. Mm -hmm. The kingdom of God is like a fisherman. He just kept, and we were just reading right on over. Yes. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. right. Yeah. And but 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 I thank God that he has taken the blinders off of our eyes. Amen. And so Amen. now we don't keep things. When God blesses you, he doesn't bless you to keep it to yourself. That's right. To be a hoarder. That's right. He blesses you to bless others. You that's know? Right. So that's why we're trying to bless others. But it's only for those who choose. That's, that's you right. You know, when Jesus was in this earth, you know, a lot of the, the church people didn't really accept him. No, you know, they, they, they did Matter of fact, they called him one time, no, a lunatic. Yeah, right. Yeah. A lunatic means a crazy person. Right, right. right. And that's in the scriptures. Yes. Mm. So mm. again, Whatever you let loose on mm -hmm. your society, mm -hmm. heaven has to let loose. Mm -hmm. wow. We said this is why there is an aggressive agenda to change the law. Wow. They are not interested in your protesting. Mm. Their goal is to change the law. And that's, that's it. What and that's what they are that's doing. Exactly. And continue because, to do. Right. Because the law is the key. That's right. That's it. You, you were talking about, you know, people don't understand. The reality is, and I know we've said this many times before, our understanding, our lack of understanding. Your ignorance of a thing doesn't exempt you from, from the consequences. consequences. Right. So we're now living the consequences of right. ignorance. Basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Yeah. Right. And see, we got to put God's word above anything. Like like yeah. Bishop always says, God puts his word above yes. everything. That's right. yes. You know, see, see, if King David was saying, he, you know, a lot of people talked about how important God's word. King yeah. David said, Lord, your word is a lamp unto mm -hmm. my feet and a light yeah. unto my path. Right. That means your word gives me directions in times of darkness or when I'm going through yeah. dark, when I don't understand, when right. I can't under comprehend things. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Job said, Lord, teach me to understand your word more than my, my byway ingredients or my food. Yes. John says that in the beginning, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. Yeah, Jesus was, was with God, God. And, the word was. and the word was exactly. God because Yeshua is God. Exactly. It says the same was in the beginning with God. That's right. All things were made by him. Exactly. 
and without him was not anything made which is made. Yes. So the word, God is showing you right there that the word is important. Yes. You know, so we have to get in God's word, not just any word, but God's word. That's right. right. The kingdom of God, of That's the gospel right. of the kingdom. Because right. many people, like Miles said, are teaching the gospel of Jesus. Right. But they're not teaching the gospel that it's Jesus taught, which go. is the gospel of the kingdom yes. of God. The gospel Amen. Of the kingdom. In the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Now, again, the law is the key. Yeah. We said laws produce culture, and culture, like we said before, is in people. Mm -hmm. That's right. Culture is in, in people. people. Right, right. They are trying to change the culture to not reflect the nature, the culture, and the value of our king, mm -hmm. King Lord Jesus. Amen? That's, That's right. right. We said this is why you cannot sleep when they talk about adjusting and changing the Constitution, which is the Bible. That's right. Because they are dealing with keys, which are principles and laws. But they're, they're, and I'm they're, talking about the Constitution on the, in this land. Too. Yeah, exactly. They got, they got, yeah, exactly. That's what they're changing. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So mm -hmm. last week we discussed the example of when the federal law was changed to permit same-sex marriages as being a constitutional law in the United States. It was officially mm -hmm. loose from the top. top. And God is saying whatever you love, he can't stop. He can't right. stop mm -hmm. it. That's right. Mm -hmm. Because he's given us dominion. He's given us authority and dominion. Exactly. You know. So because we permitted it, he, right. it. he can't stop it. He can't stop it. God is saying whatever you have permitted, he cannot stop it. Exactly. We just said that. Yeah. We said you cannot sleep when they have meetings to reform laws. Mm -hmm. Because they are allowing things that will negatively impact our sons and our daughters. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, it's very true. And the children that are, are coming. Exactly. In the nation, the in the society that's coming, yeah. it's going to affect them too. Yeah. yeah. Mm. We said you need to be engaged before it is unlocked, and give God the permission to lock it up before it is loose. Mm -hmm. Amen. You have to give God your Father permission to lock it up that's right. before it's loose. That's, that's right. right. Now, if we allow it to open, God holds mm -hmm. us. Responsible. Amen. He's going to hold us responsible. Amen. We said that this is management of earth. That's right. Mm -hmm. And that's what he gave us, management of earth, to be good stewards. Yeah. Not owners, but managers. But managers. Exactly. exactly. And because we're kingdom citizens. That's we right. have access to everything oh, in the okay. kingdom. That's what we were talking about here earlier. You know, but we, we don't own anything. Everything. He's given us, you know, he positioned us. He's given us dominion authority in the earth. Mm-hmm. But not only has he given us dominion and authority, he's given us all the resources that we need to be able to manage Amen. and yes. govern the Amen. earth. Yes. All of heaven backs us up. Amen. Yes. You know? Yes. All yes. of heaven backs us up. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We just have to give him the permission. He will not come in unless we give him the permission to do so. Because he's not going against his law. And that's what prayer, we've talked about this, that's what prayer is. Prayer mm -hmm. is not a religious act. Mm -hmm. Prayer is giving God permission to come in. Right. That's right. Giving him permission, not to do your will, mm -hmm. but to do his, his will. will. Amen. Amen. And that's why so many people, you know, they refuse to pray because they think prayer isn't effective. But mm. that's because they don't know what prayer is. Mm -hmm. that's prayer right. is petitioning. Right. And when you petition the king of heaven, mm -hmm. you have to petition him in accordance with his will, right. which yeah, is right. his word. And if you don't know his word, mm -hmm. you can't petition him on your word. It's just like if you go to court. You know, mm -hmm. we right. got our legal person here yeah. today. Mm -hmm. You know, when you go to court, the judge, you know, your attorney is not pleading your case based on what you feel or what mm -hmm. you think. Right. Yes. Your attorney is pleading your case based on what the law says. The law yes. And the right. judge has to honor the law. Yes. Amen. It's the same thing with God. This is why he says, my word will not return unto me void. Yes. yes. My word will not return void. He says, heaven and earth will pass away. And you just mm -hmm. said, well, my word will stand forever. stand forever. You have to petition him in accordance with his word. When you petition him in accordance with his word, he always honors his word. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Because he says, you know, he's not a man that he should lie. Mm -hmm. Right? That's right. right, and that's why he fight. See, yeah, God fights for us, and God is not fighting for us just because we're nice people, mm, right? But just because you go to church, yes. But God is fighting for you because God has spoken a word over your life. That's right. And wherever that's God puts His word, like I said before, He has an investment there. Yes. And if any devil starts fooling with anything that has God's mm. word in it, then mm. God will take on the fight. Right. That's yes. why He tells us to stand still. 
and see and my salvation. salvation. That's right. Mm. He says, the battle's not yours, it sister. Belongs so it belongs to me. The battle's yeah. not yours either. That's it belongs right. to your Father God. That's right. He's saying, stand still and see my salvation. Wow. His saving grace. Wow. And that's power. That's that's powerful. Powerful. And that's why the Bible tells us to pray for those that do negative yeah. things, yes. Yes. Negative things yes. against yes. us. Yes. Because when all heaven come against you, you or you in you trouble. trouble. You trouble. need to pray for people. That's right. right. That's it. That's right. Even your enemies. That's right. That's right. He tells us to pray for our enemies. He yes. does. Pray for those that use you. Despite, you know, the despite the they use, use you. And exactly. say all manners of evil against you. Exactly. He's saying pray for them. Well, you know what? What he's telling us to do, what he did, they spit on him. Come on. They, mm. they punched him in the mm. face. They yeah. pulled out his beard. They, they stuck him in the side with a spear. They yes. were nails that he created. And his hands wow, and feet. Wow. And they put a thorn of, of, of uh, a crown of thorns on his head. That's and true. what did he say? He said, Father, forgive, forgive, forgive them, them. But they know, they, not, they what know they not what they did. They what they did. Mm. I, you know, I know Listen. we're supposed to be like Jesus. Come on, you better stay straight. When the spit part came. Right. <laughs> you better. Uh, y'all pray for me. Baby. <laughs> right. that you that too. Probably right. you too. That's you know? right. But, so, okay. that's right. The reality is that he, that's what he tells us to do. Yeah. Right? Amen. You know, oh. and we're yeah. supposed to be holy, like our Father God is holy. Yes. You know, so we can't Woo. do whatever we want to do. That's right. And sometimes that means walking away from mm. certain situations. If you can see something or see people that's gonna cause problems, you don't go that way. That's why right. you wanna go that way? Right. I, I, I heard Creflo Dollar say a long time ago. He said, "Why in the world would I be around?" Uh, 10 percent of the people who I know don't like me, when I can be around 90 percent of the people that I know like me. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean that's just common that's sense. That's just natural sense. That's you know. All right, so getting back <laughs> to the teaching, we're still we recapping, right? <laughs> Amen. We yeah. said that this is our responsibility. Yeah. yeah. You cannot be in your church singing and shouting while they are unlocking things. Yeah. Amen. And that's what we basically have been done. doing. I We've know. Locked away yeah. in a full charge. Yeah. Full right oh, wow. Running around. Yeah. You know, singing while they've been changing the laws. That's right. Yeah. Wow. We said you must not allow things to be open mm -hmm. because this is our planet and God gave us rulership responsibility. That's, that's right. right. Mm. Last week we ended recapping the kingdom domain or territory principles we discussed. Those principles were. The domain of a king is the territory over which the king exercises his authority. Right. Mm -hmm. The wealth of the domain or the territory of the king determines his glory. Yes. Yes. That's why, you know, we talked about how when we will watch those movies mm -hmm. um, on the his History Channel or just the movie. Why kings will always fight other kings, yeah. you know, to, to gain more territory, to gain more, yeah. to gain more diamonds yeah. and, and, and silver. The wealth. And the wealth, and the wealth you know. Yes. Mm. So, again, the wealth of the domain or the territory of the king determines his glory. In mm -hmm. other words, the glory of a king is dependent upon the wealth in his domain. That's right. That's right. The impact of a king over his domain is called kingdom or king over a domain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've, and finally, finally, we say the king can delegate authority to others in his government, governing administration. Mm -hmm. In other words, he can give you authority and he can give his authority to whomever he wants to That's because right. it's his because he's lord That's and that right. word lord means owner. owner yes we read an example of this in matthew chapter 8 verses 8 i mean 5 through 13 mm -hmm. where jesus was so impressed by the centurion soldier That's yes right. mm -hmm. because he understood kingdom authority oh, yes we said speaking in tongues does not impress god mm. He wants to know if you understand kingdom. That's yes. it. That's it. Wow. I might get a letter on that. <laughs> First, the soldier called him Lord, mm -hmm. which means that he understood and recognized Jesus as the owner. That's right. He right. said, Lord. Mm -hmm. Then the centurion soldier said to Jesus, I am a man in authority and a man under, under authority. authority. Yeah. Because he had delegated kingdom authority from who? From Caesar. Caesar. Yeah, from yeah, Caesar. Exactly. Christ said, this man knows and understands how kingdom authority works. Yes. We said that delegated authority is a privilege yes. and is the king's pleasure. That's right. It is not a right. That's right. I need right. to say that again. Say it again. We said last week that delegated authority is a privilege 
and is at the king's pleasure. It is not a right. That's right. That's right. Mm. We said if God gives you delegated responsibility over earth, he can take it back anytime he wants to. Mm. Mm. We also said that you can always tell when God is displeased because he takes land from you. Mm. Mm. To support this, remember we read um, Daniel chapter 4 yeah. Yeah. about King uh, Nebuchadnezzar? Yes. yes. Through reading this chapter, we saw how his kingdom, land, and territory was taken away from him and then restored. Right. right. However, his kingdom was only restored once he acknowledged, acknowledged that the Most High God yes. is sovereign yes. over yes. All, all kingdoms the of the earth and gives them to anyone he, he wishes. wishes. Anyone right. he wishes. That's right. That's right. That's right. So when King Nebuchadnezzar acknowledges that the most high God's kingdom endures forever, and he does as he pleases, his kingdom was immediately restored. That's right. Immediately mm -hmm. restored. Why? Because he owns the earth. The earth is the Lord's in the fullness thereof. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. We said, in other words, God gave you rulership, rulership and not and ownership. Not ownership. Mm -hmm. I need to say that again. Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> we said, in other words, <laughs> God gave you rulership and not ownership. Mm -hmm. We don't own anything. Mm -hmm. He still has access to move the property mm. around. Mm. But the management management of it is your responsibility. Mm. That's right. If you mismanage it, he begins to take it away mm. from wow. you. Amen. Last week we read Psalms 84, verse 11, where it says, No good thing will he withhold from them who walk upright before him. Mm -hmm. That's right. We said if you do not walk uprightly, mm. he will withhold from you the number one thing. He begins to take away his property. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Why? Because property is your legitimacy for your rulership on the earth. That's right. That's right. We ended by reminding you that kingship has to have a domain to rule mm -hmm. or land, mm -hmm. but the rulership is contingent upon your obedience to the king of kings. Wow. Amen? Wow. Amen. It's contingent upon your obedience to the king, king of kings. kings. Amen. And that's our Lord. Amen. And he is king of all kings. That's right. And he's Lord of all, all lords. lords. Amen. 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 Thank you for doing that recap Amen. for us. Amen. Amen. So now let's Just go ahead. What? Give me a cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs> let's move into our new content for this week. As we continue to look at the principles of domain. Mm -hmm. So let's look again at the principles of the kingdom domain that we've discussed. Mm -hmm. We said that the domain, which is territory or land, is under the absolute authority mm -hmm. of the king. Amen. Amen. Remember, God gave mankind dominion or kingdom mm -hmm. over the earth in Genesis 1, 26 mm -hmm. to 28. We Amen. read that hand over fist. Mm -hmm. Yes. As he lost the dominion authority of the earth through the disobedience of God's command. Mm -hmm. Amen. And Jesus came to restore it back unto mankind. Mm -hmm. The prophet Isaiah tells us in Isaiah 9, verses 6 through 7, we've read this many times. For unto us a child is born, and to us a son mm -hmm. is given, mm -hmm. and the government... The government will be upon his shoulders, Amen. and he will be called Wonderful mm -hmm. Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, mm -hmm. Prince of Peace, Amen. and of the increase of his government, there will be no, no end. end. There Amen. will be no end. Amen. So that scripture right there is telling us that mm -hmm. Jesus came to restore kingdom rulership and mm -hmm. dominion authority oh, back yeah. to the earth. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. In Matthew 16 and 19, Jesus said, I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. So that you will be able to dominate in life on the earth. That's, That's right. right. Not in heaven, but on the earth. He gave it to us for the earth. Amen. That's right. The keys are the principles and laws of the kingdom of heaven, mm -hmm. which gives you access to the government and the power of heaven to get things done. Amen. That's Amen. right. That's a good. I Amen. mean, that, that's, you know, that's it's just mm -hmm. good. It's just mm -hmm. good. 
And it's the truth. It's the truth, you know, and that's the mm -hmm. thing that we need to understand. The keys mm -hmm. are access. They're access. You know, just like your key allows you to access your exactly. house. Exactly. Right. You exactly. can't get in your house or your car mm -hmm. without, without your keys. Without your keys. That's right. That's right. If, if you don't know the keys and the principles mm -hmm. of the kingdom of heaven, you don't have access to manifest heaven's government on this That's earth. Right. Mm -hmm. And you need heaven's government manifested in this earth. Yes. You need to dominate it like God originally intended right. us right. to do. Right? Yes. And keys also give you access to things that other people don't have access and privileges to. Wow. Like I talked about my keys in mm -hmm. my garage. That's right. Like right. That means I have access. Matter of fact, my, my car is double locked. Mm -hmm. I have to have keys to get in it to the car. Uh -huh. Then I have to get have keys to get into the garage. That's right. That's right. That's right. Access. 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 Amen. Mm -hmm. The Woo! power of the kingdom mm -hmm. is the Holy Spirit. Wow. Amen. The power of the kingdom is the Holy Spirit. And the authority to exercise the power of the kingdom is given by the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ himself. Amen. And that's why he said, I, it, 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 it's expedient that I leave. Yes. Mm -hmm. He says, yes. because I, you know, he says, he couldn't, there's no, you know, time on the earth that there was all three, um, you know, representations of the yeah. Godhead mm -hmm. operating in the earth. So he exactly. had to leave. So the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit could come, yeah. but in order for him to, you know, allow the Holy Spirit to come here to cleanse his body, exactly. Right. You know, so mm -hmm. let's see it for what it really is. Mm -hmm. He 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 cleansed the body so the body could once again be the home mm -hmm. or the dwelling oh, the place Spirit. of the Holy, right. Spirit. Holy Spirit, and right. the Holy Spirit is the power of mm -hmm. heaven Amen. to get the stuff done in the That's earth. Right. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can mm -hmm. say more about that. We'll yes. Go on. We have to do a series on the Holy Amen. Spirit. That because, yes. because you know what? Yes. Until That's Jesus right. went to the cross, right. the Holy Spirit couldn't come in there. Into man. That's right. When you read the scripture of Samson and all the other ones, yes. it says okay. when the Holy Spirit came upon them. Exactly. Uh, upon, right. upon them. Uh -huh. Up on them. But, then had but to when wait, Jesus yeah. went to the cross, he said, I'll be, remember he said, I'll be with you yes. and yes. I'll dwell in you right. until the end of time. That's so right. he dwells in us now right. because of what he did. That's yes. Right. If you and that's only yeah. if you receive Jesus Christ that's as Lord right. and Savior. That's, yes. right. that's why the Bible says there's only one way to the Father. Mm -hmm. And that is to Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Right. Your right. body is not cleansed, you know, from sin and unrighteousness that was committed in the in the in the garden by Adam, yes. then you cannot be a dwelling place for the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. But when you receive the blood, you know, the Bible says without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. Mm -hmm. So when you are cleansed from sin and unrighteousness by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. then you become a dwelling place mm -hmm. for the Holy Spirit. That's why the Bible says God cannot dwell in buildings made by human yes. hands. The mm -hmm. body, mm -hmm. that's why we can't just do anything with our bodies because our bodies were made for him, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Yeah. And you know what? And, and, and so that means that Jesus is the only way. The only the way. Only way. He says, I am the, the way, way, the truth, truth, and the life. And see, I'm very cognizant mm -hmm. of definite articles, especially the word T H E, mm, the. Yes. Because if Jesus would have said that I am a way instead of the way, then that would have meant that there are other gods equal to or comparable to him. That's right. But by reasons of truth, because that's all Jesus can speak is the truth. He says, I am the way, that's right. the truth, that's right. and the life. That's right. That means that there's no other way no to way. get to the Father but by him. You can't get to him by Confucius, come Mohammed, on, Buddha, come on, come on. anybody else but through Jesus. Right. Jesus is the only way. Because he way. said he's the only way. That's right. Mm, mm, mm. He says that no man can come to the Father. That's Except what he said. But by me. That's what he said. That's it. Amen. Amen. Wow. So again, the authority to exercise the power of the kingdom is given to you by the Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. See, you were created by God to reign and rule as kings and priests in mm -hmm. this earth. That's right. You were created to conquer. Subdue, mm -hmm. control, mm -hmm. and influence circumstances mm -hmm. and situations in life while you're in the earth. Amen. With the influence, the power, and the Come government on. of Come heaven. On. Like Amen. you said, all yes, of sir. heaven backing you up. Right. All, all of heaven. Of heaven. Amen. Therefore, as we've said in previous weeks, what happens here on the earth mm -hmm. is your responsibility. That's it's right. our responsibility. That's right. 
Another principle we talked about, or another characteristic we said, was that the king personally owns mm -hmm. his territory. Mm -hmm. He personally owns it. Mm -hmm. This is what makes a king different from a president or a prime minister. Mm -hmm. We talked about this mm -hmm. as well. Right. The president of your country does not own your country. Mm -hmm. They don't own nope. the land that's associated nope. with that country. Nope. But in a kingdom, it's different. Mm -hmm. The king owns the country. The people, the plants, mm -hmm. the animals, yeah. the birds, and the air all around it. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's wow. all the king's personal property. Mm -hmm. So when we say, G or so when Jesus says, I'm the owner of the earth, mm -hmm. he's saying that I own the earth. Mm -hmm. right? Everything in it is mine mm -hmm. personally. Mm -hmm. And this is why the Lord, the word Lord is used, because remember the word Lord means oh, owner. Amen. The earth, earth is, is the Lord's. The, Lord. the hey, owner's. He's the, the owner. Owner. Exactly. Amen. The king personally owns it all. Mm -hmm. And that means no one else owns it but him. That's mm -hmm. right. That's no right. one else owns it but him. This also means he does not have to consult with anyone mm -hmm. to give you anything because mm -hmm. he personally owns it all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have to consult with anyone else. He doesn't have to say, oh, you, what you think about this? Should I give it to him? Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. what you think? Should I give it? Mm -hmm. No, he doesn't mm -hmm. have to. He only has to consult so himself, with himself, himself exactly. because he owns it all. That's right. Mm -hmm. See, whenever God wants to bless you, he gives you land. Mm -hmm. And when he God wants to curse mm. you, mm. he mm. takes the land away. Mm. 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 So last week we read the account of God taking away land in Daniel chapter four with King Nebuchadnezzar. Mm -hmm. We just right. talked about. Right. It. Let's look at an example at an example of God giving land to Abraham in Genesis. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask my mother to go ahead and read Genesis chapter twelve verses one through three. Amen. Amen. And you, you read, read at home with us as there well. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And I'm going to be reading the NIV version, and it's called the Call of Abram. The Lord said to Abram, "Go from your country, your people, and your father's household." to the land I will show you. Mm -hmm. I will make you into a great nation and mm -hmm. I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and whoever curses you, I will curse. Mm -hmm. And all the peoples of the earth will be blessed through you. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 So here we see God is giving Abraham or Abram a mm -hmm. promise. Mm -hmm. He tells him that I'm going to bless you. Mm -hmm. And God tells him to go to a what? A land, a land that right. I, will I will show you. you. That's right. And I'm going to make, make your name great and all the families of the world will be blessed through right. you. Mm -hmm. But Abraham had to leave the land he was in first. Mm -hmm. He had to be obedient. Yes. yes. So now let's see what God tells Abraham once he obeys what God tells him mm -hmm. to do. We're going to read. I'm going to ask my mother again, mm -hmm. Sister Annette, to read Genesis 13, verses 14 through 18. Amen. Amen. And it reads, the Lord said to Abram, Lot, excuse me, after Lot had departed from him, look around from where you are to the north and south, mm -hmm. to the east and west. All the land that you see, mm -hmm. I will give you and mm -hmm. your offspring mm -hmm. forever. Mm -hmm. I will make your offspring like the dust of the, of the earth, so that if anyone could count the dust, mm -hmm. then your offspring could be counted. Mm -hmm. Go, walk through the length and breadth of the land, for I am giving it to you. So Abraham went near to live near the great trees of Mamre of Hebron, where he pitched his tent. There he built an altar to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Now see here, wow. we see the promise being fulfilled. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. What did God give him? He gave him land. He gave him land. He, him land. he said, look to the north, mm -hmm. the south, the east, and the west. Wow. And all the land that you see mm -hmm. is it's yours. Wow. It's yeah. yours. He, he gave him land. didn't ask anybody. He wow. didn't have to ask anybody. Mm. But he only gave it to Abraham after Abraham obeyed him. Mm. Mm. Right, right. Mm. But the other, another thing is, there were people already there, but he didn't care. I know mm. we're going to talk about that. Right? Yes. Okay. Wow. Stop. See, God <laughs> gave stop. Abraham <laughs> land to bless him. That's mm. fine. And he could give it to him because he owns it personally. Right. Yeah. He so owns it. That's right. Mm. See, right. God didn't have to consult, like you said before. <laughs> he didn't have to consult with anyone else. Right. 
but himself when he decided to give that land to Abraham. That's right. He didn't. So wow. I'm going to now ask my father, Aaron, mm. brother Aaron, go That's ahead. That's something. Well, I'm, <laughs> thinking, I'm, thinking about, I'm thinking about God. We're talking about God. But I'm thinking about Abraham. He said, Abraham, look, to the east, the west, the north, the north. I know Abraham had to like, what? And then oh, he said, God, walk the length of the land. Right. He said, walk the length of the land. And everything that basically you walk, ac uh, walk across is yours. Mm -hmm. I'm giving that wow. land to you. Wow, wow, wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're going to read Genesis 15, mm -hmm. verses 1 through 20. Mm -hmm. Genesis 15, 1 through 20. And you can read it at home also. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. After these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abraham in a vision, saying, Fear not, mm. Abram, I am thy shield, and thy exceeding great, great reward. Mm. And Abraham said, Lord, Lord God, what wilt thou give me, seeing I go childless? And the steward of my house is Eliezer mm. of Damascus. Mm -hmm. And Abram said, Behold, to me thou hast given no seed, mm. and lo, one born in my house is mine heir. Mm. And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, This shall not be thine heir, mm. but he that shall come forth out of thine own bowels shall be thine heir. Mm -hmm. And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look down toward heaven and tell the stars if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, so shall thy seed be. Wow, mm. wow. Mm. And he believed in the Lord, and he counted it to him for righteousness. Mm. Mm -hmm. And he said unto him, I am the Lord mm. that brought thee out of Ur of Chaldeas to give thee this land to inherit it. Mm. And he said, Lord God, whereby shall I know that I shall inherit it? Mm. And he said unto him, Take me an heir, a heifer, mm -hmm. of three years old, and a she-goat of three years old, and a ram of three years old, and a turtle dove, and a young pigeon. Mm -hmm. And he took unto to him all these, and divided them in the midst, mm -hmm. and laid each piece one against another. Mm -hmm. But the birds divided he not. Mm -hmm. And when the fowls came down upon the carcasses, Abram drove mm -hmm. them away. Mm -hmm. And when the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell upon Abram. And lo, and, and, and horror of great darkness fell upon him. Mm. And he said unto Abraham, Know of surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, mm. and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them four hundred years. Mm -hmm. And also that nation whom they shall serve I will judge, mm. and afterwards shall they come out with great substances. Mm. And thou shalt go to thy fathers in peace. Thou shalt be buried in a good old age. But in the fourth generation, they shall come hither again. For the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet full. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass that when the sun went down and it was dark, behold, a smoking furnace mm -hmm. and a burning lamp that passed between those pieces. In the same day, the Lord made a covenant with Abraham, saying, Unto thy seed have I given this land. Mm -hmm. From the river of Egypt unto the great river, the river Euphrates, the Canaanites and the Kizazites and the Kadmonites and the Hittites, all these ites, mm -hmm. and the Pezzarites <laughs> and the Rephrams and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Gargasites and the Jebusites. Mm. Amen. 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 Thank you for reading that. Amen. 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 Mm. See? God did not promise Abraham heaven. No. Mm -hmm. He didn't promise him heaven. No. Nope. God promised to give Abraham land Amen. on the earth. Amen. And what was amazing about it at that time, you started talking about it, mm -hmm. is that in the land there were Moabites, mm -hmm. Hittites, mm -hmm. Jebusites, mm -hmm. and Canaanites. All the ites. They're, all the ites were all there. Right. They were already there. <laughs> They were there with people already on the land that Amen. God told Amen. Abraham that he was going to give them. Amen. But guess what? Come on. God did not care about that Come because on. the ites and the land belong to him. Right. And he does as he pleases. That's right. right. That's right. See, God promised to give it to Abraham. Mm -hmm. 
God will mm. bless you with the land no matter who has it. Wow. I'm going to say that again. Right. God will bless, bless you with the land no matter who has it. Amen. See, this statement is an important statement That's in the right. kingdom. That's right. If God promised you something mm -hmm. yeah. and someone else receives it before you, it doesn't mean that it's not the will of God for you to have That's it. That's right. It just means that the timing is off. Right. God still owns it and the people that's that are right. in it too. Wow. That's, 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 that's it. It doesn't way. matter who's on the land mm. because that's what? He still owns the land that's and the people in it too. Right. That's mm. It doesn't matter who owns it. Mm -hmm. It's who owns it. Mm -hmm. God owns it all and the earth is the okay. Lord. Amen. He Amen. owns it personally. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. You teach some girl. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And you know that's so important because that happens a lot. People, yeah. they, God will tell them something, mm -hmm. and then they'll be like, "Okay, well, I, God, I thought you said this was mine, mm -hmm. and things mm -hmm. don't line up, right. and they get discouraged and yeah. frustrated." Mm -hmm. But you have to know, especially if you know that you know that the Lord told you it was yours, mm -hmm. it's still yours. Right. That's it. Right. Even if somebody's in that building right now, that doesn't mean that that building doesn't belong That's to you. Right. Come on, man. It's still right. for you. That's you don't right. know what happened. That's he might right. move those people out. Oh, or the people that are in there might wind up giving it over to you because mm. it belongs to you. Yeah. Because he has mm. it to give to you. That's right. Right. So, so, so the key is mm. trust and believe. That's That's right. Right. Yes. No, yes. Regardless of what yes. it seems like, mm -hmm. what it looks like, mm -hmm. trust. Mm -hmm. He says without faith, yes. right. it's impossible to please him. Right. And faith means simply trusting and believing. That's right. Yes. That's right. And yes. he'll do it. That's right. So if he told you something, mm -hmm. then believe, then believe it. it. Amen. Amen. And Amen. that's why he tells us to walk by faith and, and not, not by, by sight, sight which we see. Amen. And you can't go when God gives you something, that's in the scripture. We read that last week. You can't go over there and after he told you this land is yours, and you talked about. Well, there's giants in the land. Right. Uh, yeah. And, and none of them were able to go into right. the land, you know? But the Bible says that's why we have to be able to switch from the natural realm to, to the spiritual. Because exactly. the Bible says that Caleb yeah. was able to go into the land. Why? Because the, the spirit became upon him mm -hmm. from, and he believed in what God his father told him. That's right. The Bible said that he had another spirit. spirit. That's right. Not the spirit that they had mm -hmm. in the natural. And they were operating according to this world system. Mm -hmm. yeah. But he had a, a spirit from the kingdom of God. And he said that we are well able to take the land. Yes. And right. you know what they did? They, they took, took the, the land. land. <laughs> Amen. And the ones who said we couldn't do it, they did. They didn't go with, and, and you go back and you read that story. Caleb, how old was he? He was like in his, he was old. But he was still, you know, give me what God promised. Right. Yeah. Right. He did, you know, he he never deviated from what God said. Right. And at the time when the time came, he took possession of what God That's promised. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. You gotta believe God's word. Trust you gotta and believe. believe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trust and believe. Amen. Amen. Wow. So another principle is that the condition is the condition of the domain reflects the nature of the king. Mm -hmm. We talked about this right. before. Mm -hmm. We talked about King Solomon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, uh, Queen of Sheba came yeah. to see him. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this is why kings don't like to rule deserts. Mm -hmm. They like to rule land with milk and honey, honey. and gold and silver, silver and oil. Right. Something right. That, right. that's of great wealth, wealth to them. Wealth. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. This is why the Arabians are so strong because their mm -hmm. land has what? Oil. Oil. Mm -hmm. It's what makes them so powerful. That's right. That's right. See, they're not a big country, but mm -hmm. they are powerful That's right. because the glory in their land has so much wealth. Yeah. That's right. A lot of wealth. A lot of wealth. Mm -hmm. The king can distribute his domain to anyone he wills mm -hmm. because okay. he owns it. It's That's right. He's the Lord. And the wealth of the king is measured by the contents of his domain. Mm. And we're going to read about in Genesis chapter 1. I'm going to ask my mom to go ahead to Genesis, Amen. not chapter 1, chapter 2, mm -hmm. verses 7 through 14, and mm. see what was in the land or what God put in the land or in the earth before he set mm -hmm. Adam down inside of it. Wow. Let's see what was there he made the in earth. the domain that he gave him rule over. Right. He made it wealthy before he put the king man in it. That's right. Mm -hmm. Wow. Let's read it. So again, we're going to read Genesis mm -hmm. chapter 2, yeah. verses 7 through 14. Mm -hmm. And it reads, 
Then the Lord God formed a man from the dust of the ground and breathed or breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Mm. And the man became a living being. Now the Lord God had planted a tree in the east in Eden, and there he put the man he formed that he had formed. Mm -hmm. The Lord God made all kinds of trees grow out of the ground, trees that were pleasing to the eye and good for food. And the middle of the garden were the excuse me were the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. A river watering the garden flowed from Eden. From there it was separated into four head four headwaters. The name of the first is Pishon. It's winds through it winds through the entire land of Havilah, where there is gold. Mm -hmm. The gold of that land is good. Mm -hmm. Aromatic resin and onyx were also there. Mm. The name of the second river is Gaiad. It winds through the entire land of Cush. The name of the third river is the Tigris. It runs along the east side of Ashar. And the fourth river is the Euphrates. Amen. 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 Mm. Wow. Look at all that was in there before he placed them there. Right, mm. right. When God created mm. Adam and placed him in mm. the garden, God began to tell to talk to Adam mm -hmm. and tell him that there was gold in the land, gold. there was onyx mm -hmm. and resin mm -hmm. in the land. Wow. And God talked about the water in the land as well. Mm -hmm. Right. The four rivers, the mm -hmm. Pisces. I hope I'm saying it right. Pishon, mm -hmm. Gihon, mm -hmm. the Tigris, mm -hmm. and the Euphrates. That's mm -hmm. right. And the Tigris and the Euphrates River still exist it's today. The Euphrates right. is huge. It is. It is. You know. So, and then God said that the land is good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, if you study these four things, mm -hmm. onyx, mm -hmm. gold, mm -hmm. resin, mm -hmm. and water, mm -hmm. It is where the wealth is in the land. Right. Right. It's right. where the wealth is. Mm -hmm. First, whoever controls water controls hydropower, mm -hmm. and they control seafood. Yes, right. we know seafood is big, right? right. We know it's big. <laughs> Resin is oil deposit. Mm -hmm. Adam couldn't see the oil, Amen. but God is telling him that it's in the land. He's telling, mm -hmm. He's telling him, you have to go beneath to find it. Mm. Then God said that there is gold in the land. Mm. But you couldn't see the gold either. You can't see the gold. Right. There's still gold there. Right. You have to go underneath to find it. Right. Then he said there's onyx, which means mm. precious stones. Mm -hmm. That's underneath as well. Mm -hmm. God is telling Adam that your kingdom is more than you think. Mm -hmm. It's more than what you think it right. is. Mm. But those who go under the earth become wealthier. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because the secret riches are where the wealth is. Wow. Right. Mm -hmm. The secret riches are where the wealth is. Mm -hmm. If you study the nations that have become wealthy, it's because they have searched under the earth. Mm -hmm. Yes. They went after the gold, mm -hmm. the diamonds, mm -hmm. the silver, yeah. oil. Mm -hmm. And those who stay on top work for those who search for the bottom secret riches. Wow. Mm -hmm. Say that again. Say that the again. The people that stay on top work for those who go underneath and or go under the bottom and mm -hmm. find those secret riches. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. So we eat the fruit from the trees. However, we work for those who control the oil. Mm -hmm. They control our cars and mm -hmm. how much we pay for our fuel. Right. They make you decide between eating an apple or buying a tank of gas. Mm -hmm. When the oppressors went to Africa, yeah. they went after mm -hmm. the riches in the land. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know, we talked about this before too, yeah. that 80% of the diamonds in the world come from South, South Africa? Africa. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The diamond mines of South Africa are surrounded by shanty town people mm -hmm. who live in cardboard boxes. Mm -hmm. And these are the people who mine the land for the diamonds. Mm -hmm. They're the ones who work for the people. But they don't take it, they don't get, yeah. They don't, they don't benefit they from don't the wealth of it. Yeah. The diamonds go over to Europe. Yeah. They don't benefit from that. Right. Mm. Another mm. example of wealth mm. is fish or seafood. That's right. There's great wealth in the ocean. Yes, it mm. is. There's great wealth. I right. watch my mm. husband. I started watching the show. I forget what it's called, but it's a show on the it's either History Channel or Discovery Channel. Mm -hmm. And it's basically following like different uh, crews that go out into the ocean mm -hmm. that hunt or not hunt, but mm -hmm. they go searching for right. like seafood. Fishing. Some of them right. make fish for crabs mm -hmm. or they fish for tuna mm -hmm. or whatever. 
And then when they bring it back and they weigh it to see how much it is, mm -hmm. they get they some of them get paid a lot of money oh, yeah, yeah. based yeah. upon what they bring in. Mm -hmm. That's right. right. So, I mean, thousands of dollars. Yeah. They may work, work for like a week, mm -hmm. but they may make like ten thousand mm -hmm. dollars from going out into that right. sea, right. Or, more. or more. Right, right. Depending on how much they catch. I've seen, I've seen the show too on the Discovery Channel, and they was making like forties of thousands yeah. of dollars. Yeah, yeah. A uh, uh, ship. I don't know. They had different kinds of um, fish. You know, some of it was like, what's the big crab? The last crab. Uh, oh, king crab. Yeah. King crab legs. Yeah. 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 So they, yeah, they, that's where the wealth that's is. Where the wealth, wealth is. is. Yes, yeah. And we know here in Maryland, crab is big time, especially around the summer. Yeah, yeah. 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 Any yeah. seafood. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. Everything in the domain is private property of the king. Mm -hmm. That's right. Everything is private property of the king. Mm -hmm. In a true kingdom, you cannot buy land, but you can only lease it for a period of time. That's mm -hmm. right. No matter how much you build on the land, the earth belongs to the Lord. Right. And we are stewards of God's property. Right. We Amen. are supposed to be stewards of it. Mm -hmm. Any use of the king's or God's property is a privilege. That's right. You don't have a right to the king's property. It is a privilege to rule or to manage it. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is why when you eat breakfast or lunch or dinner, mm -hmm. you have to thank God for the chicken. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Why? That's because true. he owns the substance of the food that you are eating. That's right. That's right. He gives you the privilege to even eat his chicken. Right. Mm -hmm. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness well, thereof. Mm -hmm. It belongs to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is why you give thanks before you eat. You are saying, God, I know this is yours. Thank, Thank you for allowing me to yeah, eat this. That's, right. wow. that's, right. that's what you're saying. Amen. Praying before you eat your food is not a religious no, ritual. It's not. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. It is a kingdom not. acknowledgement that that's you right. are about to, or that what you are about to eat is not yours. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what, girl? You're teaching us good. This mm -hmm. is why Thanksgiving is yeah, important. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You are giving thanks to the king that everything you have belongs to Amen. him. Amen. Right? Amen. You can thank him for the car because the material that made it came from his mountain. Oh, right. You, you can food. thank him for the gas because it came from his residence. His right. He put it there. Right. Right. If you keep thanking him, you don't have to worry about high gas mm -hmm. prices mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. God, <laughs> he continues to provide the money for you to pay for the gas. Yes. You better say it. Because yes. the Lord shall supply all oh, of your Lord needs oh, according, according to, to his riches Amen. and glory. Amen. 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 We're going to read. I'm going to ask my father, Brother Aaron, <laughs> a.k.a. Lord, <laughs> <laughs> read <laughs> Philippians 4.19 for us. Amen. 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 And you can go there and read it at home also. Amen. Philippians 4 and 19 reads as such. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 His, Amen. Riches, and glory. his riches. riches There's no lack there. There's no lack there. Wow. But that's the benefit of access. Amen. Ooh. Amen. Access versus ownership. That's right. right. <laughs> I'd rather have access. Me right. too. Amen. 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 Mm. See, if you ignore God, then he will withhold the things that you need mm -hmm. from you. Mm -hmm. He will supply if you make him Lord of your life and you are constantly, constantly acknowledging that he is Lord of your life. Mm -hmm. Prayer is a constant acknowledgement that he is Lord yes. of right. all in your life. And you are giving him permission to come into your life Amen. to fix things, change things, mm -hmm. and heal things. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to yeah. go and read Matthew 11. Mm -hmm. We're going to, I'm going to ask my mom. Yeah. Sister Annette, I keep messing up these names. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> read uh, Matthew chapter 11, verses 25 through 26. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And it reads, once again, I'm reading the NIV version, Matthew 11, 25 and 26. It mm -hmm. says, at that time, Jesus said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and learned mm -hmm. and revealed them to little children. Mm -hmm. Yes, Father, for this is what you were pleased to do. Mm. Amen. 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 Now here, Jesus is praying and giving thanks to the Father mm. for hiding the secret things from those who profess 
to be wise and smart. Mm -hmm. And instead, he wow. reveals to them to people who are mm -hmm. like little, little children, children, or some mm -hmm. ver some uh, mm -hmm. some versions say babes, which mm -hmm. means children. Yeah, yeah. Because he said that's what he really wants to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to read Isaiah forty-five and three. Mm -hmm. I'm asking my father to go to Isaiah and read 40. verse. Check. Go to Isaiah chapter forty-five mm -hmm. and read verse three for us. Amen. Mm -hmm. And it reads as such, and I will give thee the treasures of darkness mm. and hidden riches of secret places mm. that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which call thee by thy name am the God of Israel. Mm. Amen. Amen. Mm. See, the Lord gives wealth that is stored in secret places. Because he is the Lord, the owner of it all. Mm -hmm. God is saying that the wealth of your domain is not in the obvious things that you see. Mm -hmm. The wealth that God gives you never goes away. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that again. The wealth mm -hmm. that God gives you never, never ever goes, goes away. Yeah. Amen. If what you have can be taken away with one bomb, it's it is not your true wealth. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's That's not right. your true wealth. Mm -hmm. God is saying he knows where the secret wealth is. Mm -hmm. And it also means that God knows the way to take care of all of your bills that you have not That's even figured right. out. Come That's on. Right. Come right. on. He has secret wealth hidden away just That's for, for you. you. Amen. Just Amen. for you. Things you have been trying to deal with for the past three or four months, God will fix it in a way that you never even dreamt of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He will bring things to you that you never even knew existed. Why? Because he knows where the secret, secret riches, riches are right. and mm -hmm. it is stored up. Mm -hmm. Some of you have bills and your bills are paid or will be paid by people who have been keeping your money in their account until it's your time to get it. Come on. <laughs> and that's the truth. I'm ready for it. There's property that you are driving by every day that God is going to give to you. Wow. Yes, sir. They are secret, and he is just not telling you about it right now. Mm -hmm. that's what, that's but you have to be ready for it. That's, that's the key. Right. When you are ready and your time has come for it, mm -hmm. no one's no one will be able to keep it from you. Right. No one. Because he is the Lord. Amen. And he said that I will give you the secret, secret riches. riches. That's and right. whatever he gives you, nobody, no man can take and it no away. Can take it away. Right. Only he can. Right. Why is he able to do this? Because he Ooh. is the Lord, yes. which right. means owner. Yes, sir. The wealth of the wicked or the sinner is mm -hmm. laid, laid up for the righteous. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I want to ask my father if we ask you to read two verses of scripture. Mm -hmm. First, we want to read Proverbs 13 and 22. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to read 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 17 through 21. And we're going to connect them. Okay. Go ahead. All right. The first one is Proverbs 13 and 22. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it reads as such, a good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children, mm -hmm. and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just, mm -hmm. and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Now we're going to 2 Corinthians 5, 17 through 21. But remember, he said the wealth of the wicked or the sinner is laid up for who? The just. The just. The, the just. righteous. The righteous, right? Just righteous, right? Exactly. Now Amen. let's be righteous to be rightly aligned. Yes. Under Amen. kingdom government authority. Amen. 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 Second Corinthians five seventeen through twenty one reads as such: Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new, and all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and have given to us the ministry of reconciliation to wit that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself not imputing their trespasses unto them and have committed unto us the word of reconciliation now then we are ambassadors for Christ as though God did beseech you by us 
we pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Amen. 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 We are the righteousness of God, and the wealth of the wicked is raised, is laid up for who? The, the just. just. The, so the righteous. just. The righteous. Right. See, they think it's theirs. Come on. They Come think on. it's theirs. But you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. So guess what? That means the wealth belongs to you. you. Amen. 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 Say love. Think Amen. on these things. Yes. Amen. Well, we're going to end here for this week, mm. and we're going to continue our studies on kingdom, on the kingdom principles of domain mm. next mm. week. So domain come back. Big. Domain Amen. is big. Come Amen. back. Listen to this again. Mm -hmm. Listen to the ones from the previous weeks again Amen. so that you can really, really begin to understand the these concepts. The Amen. Amen. Of, of, the Amen. of the kingdom. Amen. This is so the mind good. of God. Yes. Amen. Now, God. let's move into our open forum discussion. Amen. Do we have any questions from our audience, either online or those here with us today? Mm -hmm. Now's the time, if you have questions, to please place them in the comment section, or you can raise your hand out there if you have a question. And we have, we're prepared to answer any of the questions. Remember Amen. we talked about in the beginning, we say this every week, the goal is that you walk away with understanding, Honestly, because yes. you cannot do what you, you do not know understand. or understand. Yeah. And remember also, as you begin learning about the kingdom, remember the parable of the sower in Matthew 13, where Jesus says the wicked one is the enemy. The enemy himself will come to snatch away what you don't know and understand. Mm -hmm. right. So we want to make sure, we take this time personally, because we want to make sure that you are indeed walking away mm -hmm. with understanding. Amen. So yes. you can do what you know. We've said a lot of things today. You know, but we want to make sure you understand what the message is so that you can do what you're now learning. Amen. 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 So are there any questions? Amen. Mm, mm, mm. Amen. Any questions? It's good stuff. Amen. Yeah, it's good. Amen. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. And it's good to know, you know, and understand. And then you have to implement it into your life, yeah. you know. Yes. And that's when you'll see change coming. Yes. And I, I tell yes. you, you will see the change yeah, if you believe mm -hmm. and not operate by what you see. That's right. Yes. You know, we have to do again what Jesus said. I know I said this hand over fist, but you have to walk by faith. And not yeah, by, by what sight. you see, by yeah. sight. Amen. He tells That's us that for a reason because Jesus already knew that Satan will put things in front of you that, that you can see that will cause fear, that will yeah, cause doubt, doubt that will cause unbelief. Right. And instead of you believing and having faith in God's word, you'll go away from it. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you'll start, I start operating according to what you see and what you feel. Um, in this earth system, mm -hmm. you know, this earth, this this world system, the kingdom of darkness, that's a kingdom too, run by yeah, Satan, yeah. is in this world. That's right. You know, it's here to draw, to do anything to draw us away from the kingdom of God. Yeah. You know, because he's yeah. a thief. The Bible says he comes to steal, kill, to kill, kill and, and destroy. destroy. So if you see anything in your life that's coming to kill, steal, and destroy, it's from the enemy. Yes. Yeah, it's from Satan. Yeah. And Jesus also said he was a liar. Right. Yes. He's the father of love. Oh, he's a liar from the beginning. He yes. said there's exactly. no truth in him. No, right. Not so you can't anything. believe anything that he says. But on the other hand, you sure Jesus says, I came. That you might have life and have it not more, just life, but have it more abundantly. In the yes. Amplified version says, I came that you might have and enjoy life. Right. Yes. And have it in abundance. Till yes. it's full, till it overflows. Remember, he's El Shaddai. Yes. He's the many breasted one. one. Right. And he's more than enough God to deliver us and to help us out of any situation, any circumstance situation. that we're dealing with. Amen. So that's why 1 Peter 5 and 7 says, yes. he says, cast yes. all your cares upon me because I care for you. He didn't say cast your financial cares or your hospital cares or your family cares or your job cares. He said, cast all your cares upon me because I care for you. And he does. Yes. He does. You know, and he, nobody can handle our situations, circumstances, or conditions, oh, but God. That's right. Nobody can do it better than God. That's right. Because right. we just we just read about that. He's the creator of all things. Oh, that's that's right. Right. that means he, he knows about every problem, every situation you're gonna deal with. Because the Bible again teaches us that he knows the end 
from the beginning. beginning. Exactly. We just read that he said, I am the Alpha and, and the, the Omega. Omega. And like you said, everything in between, right? That's right. Amen. 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 So I do have a comment. Yes, Not ma'am. a question, but a comment. Amen. We talked about in the teachings the riches that's in the rivers. Mm-hmm. I remember Miles said, it's riches in the water. Mm-hmm. If you want to open up a business, mm-hmm. open up the water business. Mm-hmm. Amen. So Amen. it's riches in the in water. The water. Right. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. The wealth is in the land. It's Amen. in the land. Everything we need to be able to dominate in life mm. is it's here. In the land. You know, mm. everything. Mm. Everything. Amen. Amen. Wow. Amen. That was Amen. good. That was Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. So we're going to go ahead and wrap it up at this point, I guess. Amen. So if you've missed any of our prior sessions from our Sunday series, we strongly urge you to go back and watch them all. You know, we've covered... How many months have we been doing this? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is like, almost a year now, right? Almost, almost. almost a year mm-hmm. in October. Mm-hmm. Quite a bit of information. And so we encourage you to go back and watch the teachings from mm-hmm. the beginning. Um, they're all saved on our Facebook page. You can access them from our website as well. Mm-hmm. And that's at www.ftwcinc.org. Mm-hmm. Let me say that one more time. F- www.ft wcinc.org and you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel because our videos are stored there as well Mm -hmm. and as you subscribe of course to the YouTube channel every time we upload we upload these uh, teachings there on a weekly basis so you'll get a notification Mm -hmm. when they have been uploaded so remember to join us every Sunday at 3 p.m. as we continue our studies on the kingdom Amen. Amen. May you be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you will know the good and acceptable acceptable and the perfect will will of God. God. Amen. 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 Glory be to God. Now, the final thing that we want to remind you of today, and you already know what it is, (laughs) that is Jesus Jesus is Lord. Amen. 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 God God bless you all. See you all next week. Amen. Be blessed. Amen.